Hello guys, and welcome to the first episode of Drone Economics. So, now that the HDOs have been released, reviews are starting to come out, something is happening to the prices of all the other Fat Shark goggles out there. Now let's run through the lineup. Dominator V3s are going down. HD3s are staying about level, but the coveted HD2s have now been going into the realm of being more rare than vintage hard to find Jordans. Now, these aren't the most rare Jordans ever. These are some uh, retro Jordan 4s, but you get the idea. So, is there anything on the market that is more rare than the HD2? As of right now, it doesn't look that way. And not only that, guys, I was able to get my hands on a pair of new old stock Dominator HD2s. So here are the goggles. I'm not actually gonna put them on my face. These are absolutely mint, never been worn, never been touched other than to maybe try them on for fit. And you can see these are in mint condition. So let's run through what's in the box. This box is so crisp. Oh my gosh, it even smells new. It has almost like a new car smell to it. You can see the manual and the inspected by tag still in the box. This is just like opening up some shoes, really. It's amazing. It smells almost like that new car, new smell, a uh, new shoe smell. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This warning sticker still in the box. We have every single cable still zip tied and wrapped in the packaging. We have the signed Fat Shark um, little cleaning cloth still in its package. The never opened battery still with the read before using. And of course, these cables still with the factory zip ties on them. Outstanding, outstanding guys. Um, so let's put some of this stuff back. I almost feel like I should be wearing gloves to do this. Um, and let's talk about what's going on with the prices of these things. Why are they skyrocketing? And let's discuss exactly why. Now, first, before we get into that, I'm just going to leave these right here so we can talk about them. And let's uh, go through why exactly it is and it is because people were waiting for the new fat shark announcement to see what was gonna happen a lot of people were really trying to track down hd2s especially hd3 owners almost every hd3 owner i've ever met has said they really wanted hd2s but they just couldn't find them and had to snag the hd3s but the hd2s have the 50 degree field of view, not the 43 like the HD3s and not the tiny 37 uh, degree field of view that the HDOs have. So why is this happening? Clearly there is a market for ultra wide um, view on these goggles. Now, what some people don't understand is that these HD2s are not for everyone. And that's why Fat Shark moved on from that. Not because 50 degrees field of view wasn't the best, most immersive experience that you could possibly get, but because of the fact that the HD2 did have blurry edges for some people's face shapes and some people's vision. So, if you're a company like Fat Shark, you need to design not necessarily the best product for a small amount of people. You need to design the best part product for a large amount of people. So, if you are a car enthusiast, 
and you wonder why different markets around the world got cars like the STI first or the Lancer Evolution before they finally came to the United States. And when they did, half of the time they were detuned shells of a version. And that's because the U.S. market as a whole doesn't embrace those types of things to the same level that an enthusiast does. Now, in this market, which is much smaller than an automotive market, it's not so much about what people want, it's what people can actually use. And for your average person's vision, it was a toss up whether 50 degree field of view would work for you. You would get the blurry edges. Even some users of the HD3 reported that without the diopters. So, is it for everyone? No, just like collecting a rare set of Air Jordans is not for everyone either. But for those that do have the proper face shape and those that do have the proper eyesight, the field of view in the HD2 is unparalleled. I have went from the Amway Commander to these and my God. Now I'm not actually using this pair. I have another pair that is not completely meant like this. Um, this is actually the pair that I'm actually using. Um, and they're in also pretty good shape, but they're not 100% never used completely mint. Now you do see I'm using the Real ACC triple feed patch with the Furious FPV Trudy 3.6. I'm about to upgrade this to 3.7. So, what does this mean for you? It means if you want a pair of HD2s, you need to buy them now. The prices are absolutely skyrocketing. I've seen three pairs of these go on eBay in the last week. Goggles only. Granted, they were also in very similar condition, like very near mint. Um, I've seen three of them go over $500. Um, and I have, there's another auction currently on there that has a buy it now price with a module granted for $650. That is substantially higher than the HDOs, but that's because you can buy HDOs these you cannot and getting an unused new old stock pair is virtually impossible i don't even understand how i came about getting these now people in the facebook groups are starting to gripe at people who are charging fairly reasonable prices there's a guy matt with a pair for sale right now and there's just a firestorm of comments going on because people think that it's overpriced now he's charging what i consider to still be a low price of $500 for the HD2, but he's including a specialized battery cable to allow you to run any LiPo. He's also including a uh, in the goggles installation module with the uh, LaForge um, receiver in there. So if you factor in those two things, that's a value of about $120 or $130. So really he's only charging about $370 for the HD2s, and his are in good condition. That is actually a deal. So if you're not an HT2 buyer, then this doesn't really affect you. Don't worry about it. Let the market go where it's gonna go. For the few people that can take advantage of these and know what they're about, just leave it up to them. They've been searching and hunting for these, a few are actually starting to come on the market now, which is rare. So just let them get sold. Maybe you'll find a steal of a deal out there, but guys, trust me, if you want the most immersive feel, this is it. And there is no price that is too much to pay for that feeling. Trust me when I tell you that these are the first fat start Fat Shark style goggles that I've ever used that the screen was actually as big as box style goggles that I used. Now I used to use the Ishin VR D2, which aren't possibly the best box style goggles, but they're pretty good and the screen size was fairly large. When I went to my Amway Commanders, it was tiny in comparison and this finally has the ticket. Now, if you noticed on the goggles that I'm actually running, I did install this softer foam faceplate. 
Uh, with the regular foam, it really wouldn't allow my face to get far enough inside the goggles to run them properly. Um, and so that's a thing that if you didn't really try different combinations, you could have decided that HD2 wasn't for you. But once I was able to get my eyes far enough in, oh my gosh, amazing. And for those that are also racers, um, you can say that your eyes have to jot around a little bit to see what's in front of you. But for me, I focused on the gate and the obstacle that's in front of me, which is generally going to be once I line it up in the middle of the screen. This gives you that gate image so much larger. Now, what about the HDOs? People are saying the colors are better, the blacks are blacker. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not flying mostly at night. And let me put it to you this way. If you had to watch a major sporting event, right now the NBA playoffs are going on, if you had to go to two friends' houses, one of them had a TV that was 50 inches at 720p, and one of them had a TV that was 1080p. Now, I'm not going to say anything's 4K, because all of these goggles are ultimately low resolution, including the HDOs. So, 720p at 50 inches or 1080p at 37 inches i don't know about you guys but i'm going for the bigger tv and that's what a lot of people are doing i don't think you can really go wrong with either one of these but i'm just trying to give you guys an explanation for why these are suddenly so much more valuable and ultimately the reason is people were waiting for the new fat shark announcement before they decided to pony up the cash for hd twos they wanted to know if it was going to be an oled with 45 degree field of view or who knows maybe even 50 degree field of view people the prices on these would have tanked if that would have happened and everyone would be getting hdos the community would not be so split but that's not what happened so you can either go for the better colors or the better immersion and if it works for you that's what's going on so this has been drone economics um, where we kind of explain the market and price fluctuations of things that are going on in the market if you found this interesting uh, please let me know in the comments i can do more of these i have an mba so i really kind of like to study the price movements um, and a lot of things especially in this hobby and it's, it's very fairly easy to see those in an instance like this thanks a lot guys have a good one